here was the June trailer that popped up the other day. I do know already, uh, and I was I was told this from the event as we uh, review this, that June can use her health to do more damage and can also recover her health with certain attacks. Like she's got some wild ass killer instinct shit to her. So I think I'm gonna try to pay attention to that in this trailer. She is relatively like Mira from KI type shit. Yes, essentially what is going on. So I'm kind of curious to see if they show a bit of that in this trailer. It's some very interesting stuff. I didn't know if it was entirely in heat, but that's what the devs were explaining to me, like how she functions, you know? Let's see. Ah, my eyes! We have no audio. We literally have no audio. What do we have? Because my audio's muted. Shit. Sorry. I think this was an infinite stage, by the way. I think so. Pretty great stage. Ready for the next battle. Do they actually show wall hits here? I think it's just massive then. It's just huge. No, not your son. Not your son. Wow. She's a white mage. Okay. What the hell, dude? I think I'm starting to see a little bit of the, the recovery stuff. Was that stuff that Unknown had? Cool. Okay, there's the bound. T6 bound, it works exactly like it. God damn, that was cool. I almost paused it to watch it again, sorry. Cool. There's some weird shit. There's some weird shit. Damn, she looks fancy as shit. Incredibly fancy. I will heal your ass, which also kills you. Yeah, I'm assuming the, uh... I'm assuming the uh, the green stuff is actually like healing and stuff like that. They they I did I did hear from them directly that June will literally use her own health to do more damage and stuff like that. I mean, let me watch it again. I really like this stage, by the way. It's great. Get ready for the next battle. Next turn eight. New challenger. So sick. Oh. June's definitely back. What is that? Weird. Yeah, the crow stuff might be taking away health. That's a good point. So dope. There was stuff like that too. Um, for example, I think it was Jin's down one where he does like the punch, right? Uh, like the, the, the leaning forward, like mid punch. Um, it, if it landed, it always did the second hit, right? Where he like dashes through your ass with the big wing. It always did the second hit. So it wasn't like, oh, maybe on counter hit only, it gives you this extra flourish and animation. No. No, it actually always gives you the, the wild and shit after. Wow, what the hell is that? Birds! Birds! Yeah, the birds could be directly related to... I need to look at this. I need to look at this. 
So what is the structure of this combo? Nice sidestep, okay. Yeah, okay. So what I have noticed is that and I think a lot of people were already were already mentioning this in some other videos. None of the combos you are seeing in the game or the game's auto combos that they have are optimal at all. <laughs> like none of the things you're seeing the characters do in the trailers are of actual, you know, proper combo variety that have the proper fill, the proper screw, utilize this, utilize that. No, nothing. None, none of these characters are doing the things that players would actually be doing. They're just kind of doing stuff. So would you expect to be finding like optimal combos from any of the characters from their trailers? 100% no. I can tell you even from people that weren't even playing June from very long, I, I saw much bigger combos from some of these characters, much different combos than any of the trailers. Uh, even, even from the little bit of time I was fighting against some of these characters. So I would don't expect that. Oh, this is what the game has. This is it. No, no, this is this is like just moves that look cool. <laughs> That's it. This is the basic stuff. Let me see uh, what uh, Ling Xiaoyu looks like. Don't know what to expect from her, right? We saw a bit of her at the event, but. I don't know. This is like one of those expected characters, like a Yoshimitsu or something that you're just like, yeah, of course she's going to be in the game. She's not as legacy as the older characters, but, you know, she's second three legacy and she's already tied to the story and all that kind of stuff. Get ready for the next battle. Section eight. Yeah, her new design is really good. Yeah. It is really good. Second three is legacy, not as legacy as it can get. Damn, daytime at this stage looks friggin' great! Oh my god. Okay. Just ready to get high crushed by literally everything. My mids, my highs, maybe even my lows. I'm gonna high crush my low. Ow! Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, you're hitting the wall after that, too. Super's all right. Yay! Super's okay. Hey, she's doing some lucky, uh, lucky Chloe bullshit. Maybe that means lucky Chloe won't be in the game, right? She did a lucky Chloe-ish pose, meaning lucky Chloe might not be in the game. That is possibly the best situation that could come as a result of this. Just maybe. Hang on a second. I need to add something to this that will uh, potentially aid its visual acuity. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Industrial ass techno from friggin' Tekken 3 is so good. God, it is so sick. This music does so much for me. God. The garbage cans exploded. This is so sick. Slap.
Wait, 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 wait. There's another one I want to check. Hold on, hold on a second. Just as good. Just as good. Identity. God, man. Song name Shao Yu's theme from Tech and Tag Tournament. Jeez, dude. Yeah, it does a lot for me, right? It does. It does a lot for me. Friggin', friggin' music, man. My God, dude. 